What initially attracted me to study in Orkney was just the aspect that I was never going to be able to experience anything like this anywhere else. It's not like other parts of Scotland. In fact, it's not really like anywhere else. It's also very sort of progressive and go ahead and lively. It's well said that, you know, you come to Orkney as a stranger and you leave as a friend. The Orkney Islands are located off the northern tip of Scotland and is home to the International Centre for Island Technology, which is Harriet Watts Orkney campus. Right in the heart of Stromness, the ICIT provides a unique teaching and research facility and has been pivotal in the development of the university's ongoing environmental research programme. There is a lot of collaboration between the university and the industry and the community. You do feel like you're learning firsthand from people who've already worked in the industry or have been working in the industry for some time and have got plenty of experience. For marine renewable energy, it's, it's one of the best places you can go. The access to people that you get because you are in a small community, it's not unusual to bump into managing directors of companies or people that are pretty senior in their roles. We have access to like a lot of data and equipment from the industry. We're not just sitting in stuffy classrooms, we're out in the field working with real people on real projects to solve the problems we face today. So I suppose as academics, it's a place where you can really see the impact of your research. There's lots to do in Orkney, but it's a place that changes dramatically from the winter to the summer, obviously because of the weather. The challenge of going through the winter is quite difficult. I mean, you go from seeing 18 hours of sunlight in the summer to only six hours in the winter. So it can be very challenging. So you just need to kind of take care of yourself, look after your mental health. Our low light pollution and latitude means that you can be rewarded in the winter with spectacular displays of the northern lights. Managing the isolation in Orkney can be challenging. I think Orkney is geographically remote, although it's very well connected. So there's lots of ferry connections throughout the day. There's air links to the mainland. You can get off the island to meet up with family and friends on the mainland. You're with a smallish group of people who are all in the same boat. So you end up making such close relationships and friendships that you almost feel like family really quickly. You have so many different people with different interests coming from all over, it is quite a melting pot of stuff. There's lots of music events that go on, especially during the winter. Really embrace it, you know, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity if you're going to move up there to study. Just sort of engage as much as you can with the local community and just get out and, and enjoy it. Don't say no to anybody that invites you to do something. <laughs> Just say yes to absolutely anything and the people that you'll meet and the things you'll get involved with will be, will be really interesting. My advice is to stay for the whole year or at least be here for the summer. Don't leave before experience the summer in Orkney. The sights, the education, the people, it's just an amazing experience. <laughs>